I'm not sure how much you can see behind me, but this street went wild when that announcement came through. They were watching it live on a screen here. They were watching the vote. They saw the announcement and people were cheering, spraying champagne, crying. Um, there are still obviously like thousands upon thousands upon thousands still in a celebratory mood. Of course, the question is, what happens in a few hours? What happens in another day? Are they still going to be celebrating? Because from Madrid, the word is, we are going to crack down. And within the coming hours in Madrid, the central government's meeting, and they're going to start deciding what measures they're going to start uh, taking, implementing in this region. Now, I'm, I'm here with somebody who's a local, who's here on the ground, Clara. Um, she's joining me here today. Uh, and sh and Clara, you were here for the announcement. You've been here. Um, we were talking earlier, and you talked about Europe. Now, we're talking about moving forward. You said Europe is going to have to take notice because so far European leaders have said do not declare independence. Well, what do you mean by that? Um, no, right now, democracy is at stake uh, in all Europe. The fact that Spain is going to take action and the fact that we can, like, we can really get hurt because they are going to use the force, and we know it. We actually know that, uh, well, we are expecting the police to come uh, today, tomorrow, to our institutions, and we are ready to defend it, but with our bodies and specifically. And this is the, what, what, the message that we want to send to Europe, that we are going to do this specifically, but they really have to help us now because all democracy in Europe is at stake. If Spain uh, changes into a, a, a dictatorship, because if this turns into a dictatorship, everything is at stake. Not here, but all citizens of, of Europe. But let me ask you, why do you think Europe would all of a sudden step in where up until now they've said, don't do it, don't declare independence, we don't back you. Why would now, would you think that Europe would say, okay? Uh, because, uh, well, there are two people in prison, but uh, the measures that Spain have uh, already taken are not as far as they can go. And I think that the moment that uh, their measures start to be surrealist, I think that Europe has to do something. Plus, uh, the fact that the government here does not want to pay anymore, the fact that we are a country right now, which makes us... Uh, our uh, our um, civil servants, for instance, are going to disobey Spain. We are going to act as a country. So, uh, if the, if they don't take us uh, uh, seriously, uh, it's a problem because we are going to stop the country if they don't um, actually uh, take us seriously. So, there's uh, it's it's on their on their roof right now. So it's on their shoulders. Very strong words. And with uh, the intimation that we, the expectation that we're going to see violence and that people here don't seem to be afraid of that. Thank you so much. Thank you Thank for you. joining me. Thank you. Um, and coming back to you in Beijing. Well, Stephanie, now both Catalonia and Madrid have made it very clear what they want and what they intend to do. Uh, can we expect any concrete action on independence from Catalonia? Well, I mean, they made the declaration. The declaration was forthcoming. Right now, everything's up in the air. In terms of concrete action, are people organizing? And have they said that they're going to um, organize actual acts of, of independence, of protest, of democracy? We're not sure yet. What we know is just what's happening in the coming hours. We know that the president's going to move to his office in the center. There is the expectation that, that the Spanish government's going to come in and arrest him and arrest his colleagues. Uh, they've said they're going to dissolve the government. And within moments of that declaration of independence and the streets going wild here, the Spanish prime minister tweeted an appealing for calm. He tweeted there should be calm asking the people for calm and saying the Spanish government will restore order. And that can be, that can have many, many meanings, but it does have, carry with it, um, certainly the intimation that the Spanish government will restore order, whatever that takes, as they see fit here. All right, our Stephanie Free keeping us updated in Barcelona. Stephanie, thank you.